The universe is vast. It appears to stretch to the infinity. But as far as we know it, we have not found any evidence of life anywhere but here, at home. When you ask me what is the beauty of biology, what you are asking is what is the beauty of life? What is the beauty of nature? And the answer is everything. Biology is not limited, it's exclusive. How is it that we find ourselves not merely existing, but surrounded by such complexity, such elegance, such endless forms, most beautiful and most wonderful? We, the little ones, playing all over our home planet, are so far the most intelligent life ever found anywhere. Booster ignition and liftoff of discovery. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. We are complex and systematic. We are beautiful because we are built by design, not by default. Just the fact that we can think and imagine is so astounding in itself. We are the result of an extraordinary process. A process that has been carried out for millions of years. And that process is called evolution. Evolution by natural selection could not have been explained better by anyone other than Charles Darwin whose astonishing understanding of the natural world led to what has been called the greatest idea in human history, the theory of evolution by natural selection. Without ever violating the laws of physics in any way whatsoever, Darwinian natural selection has put together on this planet, and I would conjecture on rather a lot of other planets as well, something utterly extraordinary. The world of complexity which is unknown to physicists. The world of complexity which is the world of biology and on this planet at least has produced the human brain which is capable of understanding the process that gave rise to it, capable of making a model of the universe in which we stand. Every living species on earth is nothing but a part of a big family. Each and every one of us hold a life that is too precious to give up. We are going to die, and that makes us the lucky ones. Most people are never going to die because they are never going to be born. The potential people who could have been here in my place, but who will in fact never see the light of day, outnumber the sand grains of Sahara. Certainly those unborn ghosts include greater poets than Keats, scientists greater than Newton. We know this because the set of possible people allowed by our DNA so massively outnumbers the set of actual people. In the teeth of these stupefying odds, it is you and I, in our ordinariness, that are here. We privileged few who won the lottery of birth against all odds how dare we whine at our inevitable return to that prior state from which the vast majority have never stirred? Lauren Isley has said that one does not meet oneself until one catches the reflection from an eye other than human. One day that eye may be of an intelligent alien. So before we meet our final destiny, we should at least once look up at the night sky and affirm to the universe, aren't I wonderful?